All right, boys, you know what to do. Go get them. Get them. Yes. Hello, everybody. Grace to Blaze, and we're back with more BeamNG Dry. Out here in the west side map, restaurants are open 24 hours. Diners, hotels, everything a growing boy needs, including police chases. Down below, the patented Beam NG white truck. Now, the last time, the police officer superiors found that they did not perform well enough, and thus they knew that they needed to give their subordinates some very specific equipment. Over here, this is called the Insanity Police. <laughs> That's the name of the mod. <laughs> They're police cars with nitrous oxide injection, supercharger, and a lot of horsepower. These things are completely out of control. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how this is going to do. But yes, the supervisors have gotten the, uh, the officers, these creatures here, and really, really good insurance. Now, this is the less insanity police car. It's actually called less insanity. I thought we would work up to full insanity. I don't think it's a good idea to just just jump right into the chi the, the children's size pool of insanity in this sandbox of police chase death. Over here, the patented white beam MG truck languidly trying to leave while all the police cars go slamming into one another. Oh, if there was ever a Larry Moe and Curly situation going on, this would be it. I don't know. If the, yep, I was gonna say, I don't know if these police cars are going to continue to go after the suspect, but they- Oh, hold on. Right over here, one police car- Hmm, never mind. I was gonna say, one police car has managed to do the impossible. They have managed to keep their vehicle from turning into a piece of pretzel-like scrap. However, I was wrong. Their car is absolutely a piece of pretzel-like scrap. What is this over here? We have a contender? I mean, except for the fact that the police car's on fire. It's driving. The cop may be a little hot right now, but, uh, you know, it's west coast, all right? West side over here. All right, the heat isn't what'll get you. Man's not hot or whatever that was. I saw that linked in the last video. Was that my big shack or something? Oh, we got another police car over here. We, we have a chase. Come on, don't be showing your NOS all over the place. Get over there, police officer. Get this guy captured so we can freaking go home. Turning not really a part of the police's best abilities. I have a feeling that if the less insanity police cars are having this level of issue, that the full insanity police cars are not going to be doing much better. Let us go over here to the uh, supercharged tower dash cam, as it is, and see just how well our police car can keep up with the suspect. Even I don't know where the suspect is right now. A little bit of burning out, no big deal. I'm sure the the roads will be scarred with the tire marks of the police in this episode. And if these guys can't manage to catch our suspect, I have some extra special police cars afterward. I'd like to take a moment to show you guys what happened to all the various police cars. Sadness. Depression. Death. Destruction. <laughs> Every police car is on fire. Insanity Police Department. Go! This is what the Insanity Police were made for. This is what they were made for. Not turning, okay? That's not gonna work. Not evasive maneuvers. That's not gonna happen either. Bowling into the suspect. Like a friggin' mobile black and white battering ram. That's what the insanity police were made for. I will say, despite landing several heavy, like, friggin' jackhammer hits to our suspect, never mind. I think that, oh, look at how close! Totally thought he was gonna run into that pole, never mind. Pole number two, right there. And we have our... <laughs> <laughs> and we finally have ourselves an apprehension right over here. They're, they're, all the police vehicles are still on fire. But damn it, they've caught the suspect one way or the other. All right, we're doing it. 
It's the full insanity police department. I don't know what I'm expecting here. I, I really don't see how they're how this is going to end up at all okay. But whatever. I get they're not gonna get around this corner. You know they're not. Oh wow! They they a couple of them kinda got around the corner. Now these all have nitrous in them. We can inject them. Like so. Although realistically, there's probably so much horsepower going on over here. I'm not sure if we're going to see a tangible difference. Where in the name of God? Is the suspect what are you doing it's like he's trying to move the tree the trees in beam ng are a movable object stop it don't do that the only thing that you're doing is ruining the paint job where's the suspect at this guy's like let me at him let me at him the front of the car can't stay on the ground it's too much power this is far too much power for any one policeman ever thought i'd see the day Never thought I'd see the day when we'd be defying physics in a police car. That'd be fair. I guess we do defy some level of physics all the time. Look at this. Look at this guy getting away. All the police cars battered, broken, beaten. Some of them, yes, on fire and spewing out fumes. The ATM's getting wrecked over here, whatever this is. Oh my god, look at what happened in the background. Why? What is wrong with you people? How much remedial training do I have to put you all through? All right, the police have been downgraded to these. Clearly, they couldn't handle the pressure. They couldn't handle the tenacity of the other vehicles and thus they're given pigeons. Pigeons with flashing lights on them. Can a quadrant of pigeons possibly catch our suspect vehicle without all flipping on top of one another. I don't know if these pigeons are specifically able to get up this, like, this steep of a road. Look at how much difficulty they're having. They haven't flipped yet. Never mind. One of them totally flipped. I don't know if they're trying to, like, cut this guy off at the pass or what, but several of the police cars just went the other direction. Oh my god. Oh, it could just barely make these turns. I hate to wonder what's gonna happen over here. Is this thing gonna catch air? It's so... No, it actually did catch air. Kind of surprised. Oh, now it's bouncing all over the place. This is a great way to throw out your back. Oh, mother of God! Okay, nope. No, my poor pigeon. My poor sad pigeon. One thing that the pigeon is very good at is rolling. Look at how well it rolled. It just landed right back on its wheels. It's ready to go. If this was our insanity police, this thing would be on fire by now. But because it's a pigeon, it just gets right back up. It's like Mac from Punch-Out. Boy, remember Mike Tyson's Punch-Out until it became regular Punch-Out? Oh, 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 I can't believe it. The freaking clown car somehow manages to stay on its, <laughs> on its wheels. All right, our suspect got away. You boys know why. It's far too fast. So now we're gonna be going up against some dummies. They gotta be able to get the dummies, right? I mean, the dummy, look at this, look at this car, it's like a freaking Hot Wheel. It's like, okay, there goes a bunch of pigeons on their sides. Oh, they all recovered! Unbelievable! This car's like one of the, what was it called? The Power Wheels? That what the kids had? Remember, that was like the best thing you could possibly get for Christmas. Hey, you want a Power Wheel for Christmas? Over here, the pigeon police struggling mightily to get up this freaking hill. But I think they're kind of making it happen. Yes, now turning in on the dummies. The question is, can they cut the dummies off through the heavy trafficked air- oh my god. Okay, good. Total save right there. The heavily trafficked areas inside of the urban developments. That is the West Coast mother of Jesus. This is- this is probably the worst showing of police competence I have ever seen in BeamNG. The worst showing ever, okay? You understand? I've seen some pretty bad instances of friggin' police driving. This tops all of it. What is going on over here? It's like when one dog really wants to shove their nose up the other dog's ass. That's effectively what's happening here. Catch the dummies for all that's holy. Catch the dumb. The dummies aren't even moving. <laughs> Look at this friggin' pile up. <laughs> this is awful. I mean, they got them. All right, I'm not. I, yes, they, they've done it. They've captured the dummies. But this is probably the absolute worst showing of a police chase I've ever seen. Let's, let's, the dummies are getting away. 
The dummies are freaking getting away. The dummies just lost the tire. And they're somehow escaping. I can't watch this anymore. You got, you got, oh my god. We have, we have a pigeon. We have, we have two pigeons. I think we maybe have three pigeons that are coming after the dummy. The dummy's on freaking three wheels, man. How can this be? Yeah, take that tailgate off. Come on, boys. Come on, oh, we need, hold on. We need the epic, the epic view for this. It makes it that much better. Even though the chase is only happening at like 35, 40 miles an hour. You need the cinematic view to really get the full understanding of the trio of pigeons racing down the roadway as somehow this three-wheel dummy mobile manages to outclass them. No! no. <laughs> All of the pigeons ran into one another. The dummy mobile is now two wheels down. There. I think, I think the police officer, no, it's still running. It's not two wheels. This is impossible. How can this be? It can't even turn. There. Yes. Smash it. Destroy it. Catch the dummies. Drive it into a pole. Do whatever you have to do. Make them look. We're going down the wrong way. Wrong way. Everyone's breaking the law now. There's going to be so many tickets. We're going to run out of freaking paper. We're going to get a hand cramp after writing all these tickets. Dummies, are you done? Are you done, dummies? No, they're not done. They're not done. It's not stopping. Is there no way to destroy the dummy mobile? Okay. There is now a dummy caught in the wheel well. There is a dummy caught in the wheel well. Of like, there. Oh my God, finally. Yes. So it took two front wheels gone. Hold on a second. This, this stop. E e Everyone stop. Everyone stop. It took two front wheels gone, and it took a dummy lodged in the right rear tire to finally bring this sad excuse for a vehicle down. What's this, what's this engine in this thing? It's like a 150cc engine? How did we ever get this far? Screw it. We're taking these dummies down. Over here, we have a mixture of every police car known to bet. Well, not all of them, but we've got a lot of police cars over here. Some of them are already rubbing on one another. We have a police van. We have a pretty slick highway patrol car. We have a decently fast police car. And then we have a really fast police car. I have put the really fast police car in the back because how could anything possibly go wrong? Police procession of sadness. Go, there goes the van. Van's out of commission. Back over here, highway patrol looking fairly slick. I think this is going to be our big winner. Oh, mother of God. The dummies got hammered by some... Whoa! I, I was going to say, the dummies got hammered by one of the many poles that sit around this city, serving no other purpose than as a place for any wayward vehicle to slam into. Completely obliterating the vehicle. What is going on over here? How is this thing still driving? I guess we could consider this an apprehension. I, I really don't know. How's everyone else doing? Australia's stuck in a wall. The dummies, yeah, they're, they're fine. The police van is smoking and the highway patrol is trying valiantly to go somewhere, but they cannot. So our one final police car that's left gets to, uh, gets to get the stat over here for the arrest inside of this lovely neighborhood. Dummies must pay and pay they shall. I have never done any of our chases inside of the neighborhood. So let's see how it does. A Couple of turns here and there and by a couple, I mean some pretty harrowing turns over here. The Australian police in the rear doing quite well. Dummy number two in the back seat as the dummy mobile goes flying off road. What could possibly happen? What sort of odd failure and travesty could befall a dummy who is caught on a curb? Clearly no travesty because the two police officers are struck trying to get anywhere. Never mind, they're not stuck at all. The Australian police officer looking for blood. And blood he shall find. As the front bumper of the Australian police gets peeled off, the dummy mobile now getting 
tactically intervened right over here. You see that right there? That was tactical. The police vehicle rammed the front while the other vehicle is lodged in the back and we have ourselves a perfectly captured dummy mobile. The dummy mobile has been traded up for this taco van. I can't imagine what could possibly go wrong. Besides, you know, getting the Australian police car up your ass. I think that the van is gonna do, Never mind. I was gonna say, I thought that the van would do pretty good and it would have if it wasn't for that dang tree in the way. I really think that the taco van had what it took. Although, I think the police may be letting him out. Yes! The taco van! Back at it again! The police have been thwarted by the power of tacos. The taco van looking fantastic as the Australian police car begins to whip around behind it. This is going to be a high speed intervention right here, right into the backside of the taco van. The taco van not taking crap from anyone. Another shot in the rear. But the taco van is stalwart. The taco van is essentially indestructible. Now the Australian Police Department lodging its front bumper well inside the rear tailgate of the taco van. The taco van's weight and center of gravity not to be underestimated, however, as it just kind of leisurely goes for a mountain stroll. I, this is amazing. The taco van, it's almost like nothing's happening. It, it's, like, it's like I don't even have anyone trying to apprehend this guy. That's how, that's how little he cares right now for what Australia is trying to do. The taco van and the Australian police department managed to separate. The Australian police department gathering speed for another smash into the rear, right through the red light, and then another smash. What does it take? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> what does it take to take the taco mobile out? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The Australian Police Department, the Highway Patrol is tough. But at this point, just kind of ride the rail now, man. The Australian Police Department, down a tire, but still exceedingly deadly. The question is. Can it turn? The answer, not really. Not really. The Australian Police Department has given it up. It's right front tire and left rear tire, both derping excessively. And thus, we have ourselves a fresh brood escape. All right, boys, you know what to do. Go get them. Get them. Yes. There we go. I never thought I'd see the day. I never thought I'd see the day when the taco mobile was finally- <laughs> Hi there, van! Look who decided to show up! It's the police van! Can I take a moment to mention that it effectively looks like all the vehicles are really, really hungry. Because everyone has gone after the taco. Not so much the van, but the taco. Let me ask you boys something. Do you know the muffin van? <laughs> because you're about to. That's right, the taco van has called for backup. Like, like criminal backup. And thus, the muffin van has heard the call. Can our quadriceptive amounts of police manage to stop these potent van men? Right over here, the muffin van takes a brunt of the hit from the first police car. And thus, somehow saves his taco-wielding brethren Back over here, everything appears to go wrong. As the taco van remains behind. Oh, I'm sorry, the taco van remains in front as the muffin van remains behind. Trying to save his bro. But look at this. We have ourselves, we have ourselves a van in the way of the police kind that is going after the tacos. Looking particularly hungry for blood and ground beef. The police van begins to speed up, and will it make contact with the rear end of the taco van? Both vehicles similar in speeds. The police van probably having a little bit more mass, though, to speak of. Inside of the dash cam. Let's take a look at some rocks. Because that's the only thing we managed to catch was the rocks. Way to go, police van. Way to go. And over here. The taco van laughs haughtily 
as it passes by all the originals. Oh, there's the muffin van. Oh, the muffin got ripped off. I told you, man, they go after the food, but they're not really good at attempting to capture the vans. Hey, muffin van, pull over. I said pull over, you scumbag. You think you're getting away? Uh-oh, look at them. They do think they're getting away. We got a chase over here. Several vehicles shoving up the rear end of the muffin van. Lights flashing in the distance. The entire neighborhood in shambles, bedlam ensuing. The muffin van, what was that? Was that a tire blowing? All of the police vehicles very, very much on the muffin van's case. But the muffin van is playing like a screening wingman. He's keeping the taco van completely safe as all the police vehicles, that's a shot. That is a shot right there, and this is not where you want to be in life as a policeman. But caught between two different vans, and the muffin van is out. And thus, that leaves for us only the taco van. Now, both of these vehicles, I think, are going after the taco van. And when I say both, what I really mean is that the police van is wielding the other police car as a weapon. If he would get out of the freaking way, we could probably make this happen a little bit faster. But first, let's go ahead and drive him like a road spike into the rock formations. The Dubai police force. A multitude of them. They've never let me down before. Let's see how they do. All right, Dubai. Go get them. None shall pass. There we go. There we go. One vehicle got wrecked. The other vehicle. Now, the one good thing about the Dubai police is that they're very good at coming to stops. Like, the other police forces have a real difficult time in stopping their vehicle before they slam into something. But the Dubai police are pretty good at it. I say that, but now I look like a giant liar. Because no one's after the freaking taco van. Alright, I think we've got one Dubai mobile in pursuit of the taco van. Holy crap, this thing's fast. Like, the taco van definitely can't outrun it. It's just a matter of... To say it's just a matter of whether or not the Dubai mobile stays in one piece. It's not in one piece, but it's still mobile. The Dubai mobile met the same fate as many Dubai mobiles before him. He got caught on a fence. Very anticlimactically. How is everyone else doing? What sort of insanity is going on over here? What sort of odd X Men style mutation has occurred? When a Dubai mobile and a muffin van come into contact with one another lovingly. Here's our other buddy. And there is our hero. The taco van. Looking sweet. Driving off into the sunset. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for this episode of BeamNG Drive. Where we got to see more police chases on this map. But honestly, everyone came out alright. Never mind. Everyone didn't come out alright. The taco van, everything's totally fine now. The taco van has recovered. And it is now blissfully coasting its way to felonious freedom. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.